Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Today I'm actually going to be doing um, like a walkthrough or show how I plan for my homeschool. Um, I do homeschool my 17 and my 14 year old, so they're in eighth grade and a junior. Um, luckily, the state we live in is pretty lax on the required curriculum. Um, it doesn't have to be an accredited curriculum. It doesn't have to be um, an online school. So I have customized our curriculum like 1000%. I have purchased books. We use a lot of workbooks um, and a lot we just get from like online research. We watch a lot of movies. Like I try to make it a little more fun, not just for my kids, but also for me. <laughs> um, I've been doing this Let's see, this is my second full year, um, and we started in 2000, um, the week before our schools let out in like early March before COVID hit. Because um, I remember everything kind of shut down, and I think it was March like 13th, because it was like Friday the 13th. We actually pulled our kids out the week before, <laughs> um, but I prepped basically for a month to get ready. But anyways... So I went ahead and already decorated this. I filmed the plan with me. I used the Papillon, Papillon, I think is how you say it. It's French for the butterfly book. Um, yeah, it's busy, but you know what though? This is my homeschool planner. I make it fun. So yeah. So I'm just gonna give you a walkthrough of like how I do it. So, um, but yeah. So, and I will fill in everything that I pretty much know or that I can reference in a book right behind me because I have a lot of books that I use behind me. So anyways, so, um, I also have to, I will reference the previous week, um, of stuff. So, um, let's see here. For fine arts, we study specific people, artists, like, um, my skin is so dry. Sorry, I'm going to get some lotion. Some film legends, um, I said artists, actors, well, I said film legends, oh my gosh, um, singers. Um, we do plays, musicals, all that stuff. So currently my girls are studying Ray Charles, actually. So, um, and if anybody's asking, I don't have the packet in front of me. Darn it. Yep, I don't. Wait. Do I? No, I don't. Um, what I essentially do, I don't think I have it. My copy. Oh, maybe I do. Nope, I don't. Sorry. So what I do is essentially is I copy or I print out information on the particular artist that we're going to study. And we usually just use Wikipedia because it's easy to access for my kids. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, so then I require them to find an important fact per page and then we do a read out loud um, and then I highlight any extras and I write my own test. So, um, but let's see here. I'm filming this on the, on the 28th of January. So I'm feeling like this is a Friday before because we're done with homeschool for the week. So um, today I signed their Ray Charles paper. It's due Tuesday. So we're gonna do that. Which means since I've given them the weekend plus Monday to work on the um, paper, the paper is due. That means our paper is due the day of the test. So, and essentially all the facts that they find, plus whatever I decide to highlight, I don't hide it from them. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna highlight that. That's how I write my test. So basically as a group of three, we write the test ourselves. So. I'm going to just put here that they have to study for their test. I always write test in big. I don't know why, but yeah. So then, um, trying to think Tuesday. Well, let's see here. Okay, and then after I end the, the lesson, we always do a test. They have to write a paper, 
and then we do a movie date. And I try to find specific people or plays that we can watch a movie on. Um, actually, the last one we um, read the play or the Broadway musical we read Dream Girls. So they had to write a paper on Dream Girls. They took a test on Dream Girls. We watched the movie Dream Girls with like Jamie Foxx, Beyonce, um, Jennifer Hudson. Prior to that, who did we do? I believe we did Marilyn Monroe. Um, and then we watched the new Marilyn Monroe movie. Whoops. Oh, I just got a mark on that. With, um, oh my gosh. I cannot think of her name. Um, she was from Dawson's Creek and I can't, Michelle Williams. Oh my gosh. So we're going to watch the Ray Charles movie. Um, sometimes I do it the day of the test. Sometimes I don't. So I will leave the movie part blank. Um, yeah. Um, let's see here. So, and then for life skills, I just give them right now, life skills is combined with our health class. Um, we did health last semester, this semester we're doing life skills. I did, um, right now we're doing like bank account math, budget math, and we'll have credit card math. So basically what I do is, um, I get one workbook and I make copies to save money and I have like an ink subscription. So we have like, here's my health slash life skills folder. So right now they're going to work on Martina's business budget. And what I do is I copy um, the workbook. I make two copies back to back for them. So like here's one. I don't think I stapled this yet though. So. Oh no, okay. This is just one page. So, and then like the next one is staying on budget, like Jennifer's clothing budget. So that's how that goes. And we don't do life skills and health every day. So yes, um, so we will have a break for two days and then we'll do Jennifer's clothing budget. And then we'll probably do another one Friday. We'll do a Manuel's grocery budget. And then another thing is, is like, I follow this, the requirements to graduate from high school in my state, and that is what my 17 year old is required to do. Like, she has to have four years of math, one in, year in at least algebra, and one year in geometry. Okay. Well, my eighth grader actually excels at math more so than my junior. So they're actually at the same level in algebra um, right now, which is interesting. And a lot of the other classes, as long as she meets the requirements, my junior can pretty much take a lot of the same things that my eighth grader is taking. Now, mind you, I don't dumb this down for her or anything. It's literally within the same age gap. And I honestly think that my 14 year old, she, she's a better, like a better student. I guess she excels more school. Like she actually enjoys it more than the junior. So like she's actually kind of bumped up as far as like level goes. So yeah. Um, so that's that. And then let's see. For math, we are fin finishing up our algebra book, however, there were some tests they did not do good in, so I'm going to allow them before they take their final to redo every chapter that they want to retake the test on and they can replace their grade. So they're going to, we're gonna hit, I'm just gonna write redo chapters. And basically we're gonna do this all week. Now I'm going to leave Friday blank in case they're ready to go and want their final, then I will write final. If not, we will continue to redo chapters. So, okay. Um, for social studies, this week we are studying World War II. And again, I bought a workbook. Um, and I copy it because I need to. Because it's actually cheaper for me. We did the math. It's cheaper for me to um, buy one workbook plus get the ink subscription instead of buying two workbooks. Um, plus I use the original for myself. Like I basically get the books, hole punch them, keep them in binders per subject. 
and then I keep the original set something for me to read off of because I basically read with them like we interact and kind of we kind of like teach each other I guess I don't stand up in front of them I do have a whiteboard in our room classroom I don't really stand up and just write and like lecture so we kind of do a lot of out loud reading together and then we discuss so like here's their social studies packet so the first one is a torch lights a torch lights in North Africa okay. and then they just get a little activity assignment to do and then there's a debate and we always read what the debate is and I always give one who is for it and the other one's opposed and it I randomly assign that part then they have to do their own research and then they have to have a debate in class like against each other there's no right or wrong answer obviously they give facts they can give opinions um, and then afterwards we discuss and like the girls have been on the losing end because I'm like okay who do you think had the better argument who do you think is right and then a lot of the times they always say each other so they have to say the opposite so but yeah so this one is the arsenal for democracy okay and then again another activity and then a debate at the bottom and then the third one is american women in the war So we do three lessons a week. So then, and then I write the test off of that. Um, normally for Thursdays, I always write study. Um, however, we're not doing that because I wanted to put this quote sticker here. So they, but they know that Wednesdays they have to study. So Friday will be our test. And then I'll write a little dot because I'm writing two points. Um, so just like for fun, I guess, or for entertainment, I am showing them, we are watching one, one to two World War II movies a week. And it doesn't have to necessarily coincide with the lesson, it's just a general World War II movie. Um, we started the semester the first week of January, the first movie they watched was Pearl Harbor. No wait. Did we watch it the first week? Let's see. We went, we came back to school, they wanted to start school early, so we actually started on the third. Um, Let's see here. We did not. So we waited until the second full week, which was the week of the 10th. And then that week we watched Pearl Harbor. Yes, it's a lot of romance, but like I wanted them to see the like the action of what happened during Pearl Harbor. Um, last week, the week of the 17th, we actually watched two. We watched The Monuments Men, which that's a really good movie and Valkyrie with Tom Cruise. I don't, I'm not a fan of Tom Cruise, but the movie's really good about the failed assassination attempt on Hitler. Um, and then this week we actually watched our movie yesterday. We watched Saving Private Ryan, which they bawled. Um, so for this week, I think I'm going to have them watch, um, I do have a list. Oops, sorry, my punch fell. I think I'm gonna have them watch Fury this week. All right, Fury movie. After the test for the afternoon, um, yeah. Back. Sorry, my daughter was coming down. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna watch Fury for the day. Um, let me see here. For science, I do have our science book. Let's see. Right now, we're actually doing. Um, physical science, which I know I took that as a freshman. We actually did other classes first. We like did biology, we did anatomy and physiology. Um, so now it's kind of like the science that they're not fans of, which is fine. <laughs> so let's see here. We are ending with Okay, we're going to go over mechanical 
advantage. And calculating efficiency. My daughter, my three-year-old is singing. I think she's watching Frozen too. All right, next one is calculating power. So when I put a big sticker here, I just kind of make my own little like dot. And then there will be an activity. So it's a force and work crossword puzzle. And then next will be wave diagram. And then sound and music crossword. <laughs> yep, she's singing. Okay, and then Thursday will be reflection and reflection. Re refra reflection. Reflection and then refraction. Okay. So and then let's see and what it's not the end of the book, but I give them so many pages at a time. So that will be sorry I have a text from Michaels. <laughs> so that'll be end of the packet. So basically they're gonna have the weekend to study. And then they'll probably have their test on Monday. Okay, so the next is going to be Spanish. So I'm going to have my Spanish book out. So let's see here. I know that we're going to go over just like stuck. Oh my gosh. Okay. The prepositions. So, las. Oh, I'm going to skip a line so I can fit it. Preposiciones. And then. We'll probably give them an activity for that day and then we'll go over on Wednesday. Los Gerundios. Thursday will be que haces. And then we'll start said or estar. Okay. Actually, it's a question. I will just do that. Okay, so that's that one. So we will do a plus. I usually have them write papers, like little paragraphs, so I'm just going to write paper here. Okay. So there's that. Language arts, we start a new book. Also on Thursdays, they actually use a happy planner too, the student layout. I assign them the following week on Thursdays to show me Friday that they decorated it, and I actually give them a creative grade for it. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to think here. All right, we're going to make the Ray Charles movie day here. Uh, 
Okay. And then let me get the language art book. So they will have to do from the book one 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 two. Okay. So I know we're starting a new language arts books they did writing just they finished a writing book so now we're going to do lesson one one lesson one two lesson one three lesson one four lesson one five Let me check it Make sure it does have, yep, it goes up to 20 something. Okay, so then this week, let's see. They were required to finish, we are reading the Harry Potter series. We started, um, did we start at the beginning of this one? I'm trying to think, I wanna say we did not. Let's see, for that we actually started Hunger, we started with the Hunger Games, actually, which they loved. Um, I think when did we start the Harry Potter series? We started that in late September. Actually, yeah, we started September 29th. We are, let's see, I had to have them finish Half Blood Prince by Tuesday. So then, um, I'm gonna just let them know that their book report is due. So we'll make this do Thursday. I do give them extra time. Let's see here. And then on Thursday, we will do Half Blood Prince movie day. weekends I sometimes do give them two okay um, and then some of these like this is their assignment for the following day like these are gonna be due Monday but then in life schools like I don't know I didn't know how to read this for myself like this is what they're going to be doing today if that makes sense so yeah and then for let me see here I think who else? I know, Bill. So Thursday we will be starting our next person that we're going to be studying. And we are actually going to be studying Elvis. So I will print out from Wikipedia like his biography. So I assign 10 pages a day. So they're, they're required to do pages one through 10 highlighting facts and then Elvis page 11 through 21 facts basically up until we finish it and that's when we do the read so yeah so that's how I do my planning for school um yeah, if I don't have anything then I kind of just draw dot and then I check it off when I'm done like Oh, this is the new one. Okay. So that's how that goes. Um, that is how I lesson plan for my school, for my homeschool, sorry. So the only thing I haven't done is this for math because this will basically depend on them. And I do edit, white out, cross out, all that stuff. Like, let me show you a very full week here. Um, Mess, super messy. Um, like here's one week in December. Like it's not messy though. 
but like I wrote a lot. I didn't decorate it as much, um, but like here is in November. And sometimes I don't adjust the class that day at all. Like I took a break on that day. So um, again, I took a Spanish break for two days. I try to hit every subject every day. There has been times where things have had to get pushed. Like here's the week of Halloween. Um, I'm trying to think here. Let's see. Like, and I don't want to show, which I'm sure you guys probably saw that already, but. Like here is, whoops, as I take this off, like particularly here, like for whatever reason we did an activity, it was for consumers and I just, I do a lot of arrows too. Um, I believe, like yeah, I, we, cause there was no school, I just for whatever reason got behind, I worked extra hours, so we had to do another read for Ray Charles, so yeah, um, it happens, but yeah. So that is how that goes. Um, again, I feel like I'm lucky that this currently state we live in um, and how they do their homeschooling and their rules and laws. So, and I still feel my kids are getting a great education. Their father agrees. So that's how I do it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or you guys can post them here on my YouTube channel. So, but yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.